Should you try intermittent fasting? Is it even healthy? In this video, I go over the pros and the cons of intermittent fasting, and I kind of go over if you should try it or not. Let's go ahead and get to it. What's up everybody, it's your boy The Millennial Health Coach where I help you conquer your mind, master your health, and grow to your highest potential. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So the topic of the day is intermittent fasting. It's been a very popular topic and a question I get asked all the time. Should I try it out? Do you think it's healthy? So in this video, I wanted to go over what it is, like what is intermittent fasting, the pros and cons, and then my suggestions if you should try it or not. So starting off, what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is basically cycling between fasting, which is not eating, and then also eating. You're cycling between the two. Now there are two main types that you've probably heard about. There is the 16-8 fasting protocol, and then there's also the 24-hour protocol. Now the 16 by 8, that's basically where you go 16 hours without eating, then you have an eight hour window where you can eat. Then the other option is 24 hours of just not eating at all, and you do this twice a week. So fasting isn't new. People have done it in many religions, and also actually our ancestors did it a long, long time ago. So the first humans were hunter-gatherers, and they basically would hunt for the food and it, they didn't have supermarkets you know they didn't have food super available to them so what they had to do is they had to go long periods without eating so they were practicing fasting before it's even called fasting now there are pros and cons to intermittent fasting let's go ahead and go over the pros so the pros are that it does help with weight loss at the end of the day you're going to be restricting your calories a lot more than if you're just to be eating all day so you will lose weight. The second benefit of intermittent fasting is it actually helps you lower your insulin levels, which is hugely important. And then third, it just makes health kind of simple. You know, if you're like, I'm only going to eat between these times, kind of plan around that time pretty easily. And now for the cons. The first con is honestly, you're just going to be hungry. You know, if you're not eating for 16 hours, I don't know if you've never eaten for 16 hours, but you're going to be hungry. So that's one of the biggest things, you're going to be hungry throughout the day and that's going to be one of your biggest weakest points. You're going to have less energy because you're not fueling your body, so it's something to consider. Another con is you're going to be skipping out breakfast, one of the most important meals of the day. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you eat, you kick your metabolism up. So it's really important to think about like, okay, I'm going to be skipping a whole meal. And then three, you can actually lose muscle while doing intermittent fasting. Now there's a way to combat this, of course, if you're weightlifting and you're, you know, working out correctly, you can actually preserve some of that. That muscle mass but on average if you're just doing intermittent fasting alone you're actually going to lose muscle as well so what is my suggestion when it comes to intermittent fasting now i don't actually practice intermittent fasting myself i actually like eating throughout the day i'm like the type of guy who gets like hangry that's me i just get pissed off if i don't eat but keep this in mind the best diet eating style that you could do is the one that you can stick to the most the one that's the most sustaining so this is the thing, if you do it for two or three weeks and you find yourself being inconsistent, you can't stick with it, it doesn't work for you, drop it, don't do it. If it does work for you, hey, try it out. I'm not gonna knock on it because it does help with weight loss, but you just wanna make sure you're following the right guidelines. Make sure you do your research before even trying anything out. So I hope this video was super helpful for you. If it was, feel free to like the video and then put in the comment box if you have any questions about intermittent fasting. I'd love to answer them and help you out. So I'll catch you at the next video. You already know, embrace the hot. Hold on one second. Did you check out this video? How about this video? And I already know, if you haven't already, you need to make sure you subscribe, all right? I'll catch y'all next time. See you later.